56 Intel introduced the H3CX G310 server graphics card. Intel today announced a key milestone in its decades-long journey towards unified software architectures. The company announced the release of the Intel Oni Abi Toolkits, due out in December, and new features in its software stack as part of Intel's unified approach to hardware and software design. Intel also unveiled its first discrete data center graphics processing unit, GPU, the Intel Server GPU, based on the Zell P Micro architecture and designed specifically for low latency Android cloud gaming and media streaming. Today is a key moment in our ambitious journey of Oni Abi and XPU. With the release of our Oni Abi Toolkit, we have empowered developers to include our vector matrix spatial architectures. We are also launching our first data center GPU based on this microarchitecture LP targeting the fast-growing cloud gaming and media streaming segments, said Raji Kaduri, Intel Senior Vice President, Chief Architect and General Manager of Architecture, Graphics and Software. In the era of computing, a complex software stack is required. Developers will be able to access a common, open and standards-based programming model for the Intel XPU using the Intel Oni Abi Toolkits. They unlock the performance potential of underlying hardware and lower software development and maintenance costs while reducing the risks associated with accelerated computing deployments. Intel Oni Abi Toolkits take full advantage of the latest hardware capabilities and instructions such as Intel AVX512 and Intel DL Boost for processors as well as features unique to the XPU. Built on top of proven and proven developer tools, Intel Oni Abi Toolkits deliver familiar languages and standards while maintaining full legacy in existing code. Intel today announced that the Oni Abi version of the Intel Toolkits will go on sale in December and will be available free of charge locally and in Intel Dev Cloud, along with commercial versions that include worldwide support from Intel consulting engineers. Intel will immediately migrate Intel Parallel Studios and Intel System Studio toolkits to its Oni Abi products. In addition, the Intel Dev Cloud, where developers can test code and workloads on various Intel architectures, is expanding with the new Intel Iris graphics hardware. One API has received industry support, including recent support from Microsoft Azure and TensorFlow, leading research organizations companies and universities also support only API. With the release of the first discrete GPU for the data center, Intel continues to expand its rich set of innovative platforms for enhanced cloud gaming and multimedia experiences. The combination of Intel Xeon scalable processors, open source software components, and the new Intel Server GPU provides a high-density, low-latency solution for lower total cost of ownership. The Intel Server GPU is based on the Zell P microarchitecture, Intel's most energy-efficient graphics architecture, offering a discrete architecture with a 128-bit pipeline and 8 GB of dedicated low-power DDR4 onboard memory. Combining four Intel Server GPUs into an X16 key Gen 3.0 expansion card can support over 100 concurrent Android Cloud Gaming users on a typical dual-card system, and up to 160 concurrent users, depending on the specific game and server configuration. The Zell P-based Intel Server GPU is already on sale. Along with the recently unveiled Intel Iris Max graphics, the GPU will enhance the visual computing experience for users around the world as Intel ramps up its ZAR architecture products and software initiatives. One of Intel's key strategies for successfully scaling GPUs from entry-level graphics to high-performance computing HBC, is to implement a single code base. In line with this vision, Intel's software stack now supports multiple generations of graphics including the recently released 11th General Intel Core processors with integrated Intel Iris graphics and Intel Iris Max discrete graphics. Extending the codebase to support data center products where Linux is more prevalent is a key next step in the scalable architecture strategy.